everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Ajwa and I hope this video finds you well if you are new to this place please consider subscribing and to all my returning subscribers I say thank you so much and welcome back so this whole video is inspired by this fascinator which I've had for a while but I've never really had an occasion to wear it to but it sort of gives me this sort of black widow vibes and I was like, you know what? I have fragrances in my collection, which equally gives me this bold, confident, seductress, black widow-ish vibes. I'm not a black widow. I've never been. I know none of my subscribers or viewers here is, but just for fun, nothing too serious. So it sort of gives me this confident, bold, seductress, no nonsense. I'm not a girly girl. I'm a beautiful grown woman who knows what she wants and goes after what she wants. So that is the kind of vibe that we are going for or with today. And I have these perfect fragrances to go with them. So the very first one I have here is by Dior and this is Poison the Original. Not the hypnotic poison, not the poison girl, not the pure poison. This is a strong, sweet, um, incense -y, wild berry sort of fragrance. And it gives you that 90s sort of vibes like this is a very polarizing no nonsense fragrance it is definitely not for everyone so you need to be that strong person who knows what she wants goes after what she wants and always gets what she wants that is the vibes that this fragrance gives me always i always 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 get compliments when i wear this fragrance People have said it's polarizing, but it's all about how you wear this fragrance. You need to be that bold. You need to be that confident. This fragrance gives me a woman who is like on her third husband. That is the vibe this one gives me. You know, there are some women that you see who are so like put together, so confident. You see them as the even, you know, their husbands are the breadwinners of the house, but they run the house. And this is the vibes that this fragrance gives me gives me a bold sort of um, almost controlling wife or spouse <laughs> you know vibes that is what it gives me i see a woman who is on her third or fourth husband that kind of vibes you know that woman that everybody is scared of but everybody also wants to have a piece of her in a dangerous seductive way you know it gives me that sort of vibe so that is the very first one i consider my black widow sort of vibe the next one i have here is one by mugler and this is aura it is like the, the bottle itself should tell you it is a bewitching seductive seductress sort of black widow ish vibes it is a sweet vanilla it's a green um fragrance with some vanilla and this is one of my best vanillas in my in my collection I love Aura. You can see by the dent that I really, really, really love this fragrance. It is like a bit polarizing. People have said it's polarizing, but I really don't get why they consider it polarizing because it's so unique. It's different from the other vanilla and green combination that is out there. This is one that is bewitching, seductive, different. It is a woman who is confident, a woman who knows how to rock her her uh, bold uh, statement fragrances like the one that you see outside and you just give her respect even if you do not like her that is the vibe that aura gives me so it is one that i would highly recommend for people who just want to be in their sort of coquette sort of stage be that seductress that's you know bewitching lady it is it is not a young lady scent you know although a confident young lady can sort of um utilize this to her advantage this is like a grown sexy confident fragrance that you know announces your presence make men wonder who the hell this woman is the next one i have here is club the new intense woman by a mouth which is um, in the direction of tom ford's noir de noir and this scent also i mean almost all the fragrances i have here are very polarizing and they are not for everybody they are some more some sort of um truffle you know that truffle tom ford um nuances that you get from a lot of his fragrances it has that but it's also powdery a bit musky earthy dark you know people say it is gothic but i say it is a black widow like scent like 
this is not like the everyday usuals we've gone past the everyday usuals we are now bold we are now confident we want to announce our presence in a very seductive way for everybody to know that we are different we are unique and you can snatch your soul if you want to so that is club the new intense woman by amav the next one is a very unisex latafa fragrance and this is oud for glory a very confident leather wood mask um, powdery combination which is also a bit polarizing as i said like almost all these ones are a bit polarizing and because of how polarizing it is that is how it comes off as a bit unique a bit different and gives you that sort of um black widow um I'm, I'm different i stand out from the others vibes so this is wood for glory like a very good one very seductive it's it's like um announces your presence but in a very good way it is a unisex fragrance and if there's one thing about unisex fragrances that women pull off it makes them more alluring because it's like okay this one is different this one does not smell too girly too feminine but this woman is rocking it in a way that i feel how confident she is and that is the vibe that oud for glory by latafa gives it is a very confident um i'm here look at me i'm confident i'm i'm ready to snatch someone's soul i'm ready to spend someone's money i'm ready to spend my own money that is what this one gives cabotin de Gres gives me this sort of 90 supermodel who everybody wants but cannot get who is not so accessible because there's an aura about her that kind of puts you off at the same time you just want to know her more that is the vibes this gives me it is like a green um green civet or animalic vibes which is like a bit off-putting to the untrained nose or to the normal nose but this is lovely it is a very lovely green scent you know that sweat you know vibes give it an animalic touch which is unusual so it gives me come hither but just don't get too close because i'm not that friendly that is the vibe that this one gives me it is not like a very friendly sort of fragrance but it really has something about it you know which makes it so unique and appealing at the same time it is not for everyone so if you wear this you definitely definitely stand out from the crowd it gives me like i don't need any man in my life but secretly i do you know it gives me that kind of vibes and i really like this one so you can just check this one out Caboutin de Grace. this next one is a confident businesswoman who is making her own money who doesn't necessarily have a man by herself but she can call any man to be by her and they will be so willing to be available at her call and this is Alexandria the second by Zezhov. Masky, powdery, lavender, seductress sort of vibes. Like this is a smooth operator. Alexandria the second by Zezhov. Like a smooth operator. You don't need to even do too much when you have this one on. Just wear your all black outfit. That confidence. Anything that makes you confident. And you know, it gives you that. Um, I'm a businesswoman on a mission. I'm making my own money. I'm a boss. I'm a head of house. Even if I'm, I have a husband, he is a breadwinner, but I control the house. That that is a vibe that this one gives me. It is very sophisticated. A very well blended fragrance gives me like you know money. It's like rich money sort of vibes all day every day. You know you don't even have to speak when you you have this one on it it does all the speaking for you it is like a bit oody it has a middle eastern touch to it and you need to understand oud before you appreciate this better so this is definitely not for everybody it is not everybody's cup of tea but for those who really understand this fragrance this is pure seduction there is no way i can do this list without mugles alien a very polarizing um confident sexy sultry you know like it gives you everything that a woman needs in her wardrobe this is like alluring seductive it is everything that you think of when you want uh that sort of i'm serious i'm a temptress i don't need any man in my life sort of vibes um because it's quite polarizing it's a mugla so it's quite polarizing and i'm so you know like i like the fact that two mooglers made it to this list because those are the kind of fragrances that you reach out for when you want to put yourself in that kind of mood or want to make people perceive you in that kind of mood. So Alien is one such fragrance which gives you that 
black widow i am dangerous but i just want you to come around me i'm still a woman who wants a man's touch that kind of vibes it gives you that sort of vibe so it is one that i also made it to my list the next one on this list is by Versace, and this is Crystal Noir. This is a temptress. This is a woman who is so confident in herself that she doesn't really want any, she doesn't even want compliments, but you are sure going to compliment her because this fragrance is a compliment magnet. It feels like this cold coconut, lactonic, floral, you know, peppery sort of scent. It is definitely not for everyone. It is that strong. So this one, although you don't have to overspray this one, I still do sometimes. I still overspray this fragrance and it is loud. Versace Crystal Noir is on everybody's list for a very good reason. It is one that is unique. It is different. It is not like overly sweet. It is not a girly girl sort of fragrance. It is confident. It screams confidence. It screams seduction. So this is one that you put on when you have some bad intentions like some very bad intentions that is when you put on crystal noir if you have known me for any you know amount of time you will know that i love my animalic powdery musky sort of scent and this one had to be in the list like why wouldn't it be it had to be and this is arabians by montel like a very powdery animalic sometimes when i say animalic i don't mean it like in a very bad way you know it has that powdery woody touch which is like a bit animalic but it is that animalic aspect of it which makes it very sensual you know the dry down especially gives you this powdery musky um sort of um banyadi in a very good way vibes like arabians is one you know that you need to get your nose on because this one is really good like it's a very very good one very unisex gives you a presence People will just tend to look who entered the room. It is very seductive, very bold, very confident. It doesn't need any introduction. It speaks for itself. So it is one that also has to be in this Black Widow list. The last but definitely not the least fragrance I have here is by F.A. Paris. And this is Caesar. This one is like a concoction. Like this one has more than 30 notes to it. It has some earthy patchouli moss vetiver um blood orange some jasmine everything that you can think of you can find it in caesar and all these notes come out to bring out this very sexy sensual it gives me this sweet berry sort of vibes i guess something like um black currants some blackberries you know it has some berries in it and then you get that earthy mossy patchouli vetiver um all kind of goodness all kind of goodness like i i get compliments a lot from this fragrance like for men and women this is like a compliment getter it is one you know that i love like i love this fragrance anytime you wear it it's like it feels like me you know in a way it feels like me I feel comfortable wearing this one it gives me that kind of bold i am here look at me you know it gives me that kind of vibes it is a very unisex fragrance but it leans a bit feminine in my opinion but it doesn't also you know like men can equally use this one and feel very comf comfortable about it but it's sweet you know it has this sweetness earthy and it's different it's different from the usuals so you know, for the, my Black Widow list, I have to include Caesar by Giovanni Lorenzi. I love the bottle too. You know, it's like a Tiziana Tirenzi dupe actually. And it gives you that sort of um, vibes in, in a very good way. Like very seductive, bold, statement making. Um, look at me. She's a very confident woman. She knows what she's about. You know she's the head of house she's the breadwinner she's everything but she still wants a man and be submissive whenever it is necessary for her to be these 10 fragrances are so me like they resonate so well with me i feel comfortable and confident wearing these fragrances on a daily basis on special occasions and i know there's one or two in your in your, in your wardrobe that you sort of feel um in that vibes when it comes to fragrances so just let me know in the comment section thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in my next one
please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you have not um, subscribed yet please do please do subscribe and let's just enjoy more videos um, on this channel so thank you so much and i hope to see you in my next one take care bye bye